It's that time. It's game time, baby. That time. Time to kick off Sports Extra. Brought to you by Southside Lumber, Southern Illinois Orthopedic Center, and Subway. Now, News 3 Sports Extra. Sports Extra. Greetings and welcome to week six of Sports Extra. One area team had a chance to clinch a playoff spot tonight. Plus, the Benton Rangers tried to keep Massac County from starting to pull away from the field in the River to River, Ohio. That's our spotlight game of the week, but we start in the South 7. The Carbondale Terriers look to bounce back from last week's shutout loss to Cahokia with a visit to Mount Vernon. Seconds left in the first quarter. It's the Rams' Jesse Stuckey. He's going to take it 35 yards and then check out the flip there. Mount Vernon first down, then top. Early in the second, it's Eric Heinzman with the score, 7-0 Rams. Carbondale's Kendall Edwards with the 17-yard gainer up the middle, taking down him by a slew of Rams. After that, it's Brandon Reno. He's going to come down with the 35-yard reception. And then near the end of the half, it's Edwards taking it into the end zone for the score, 7-7 at the break. The Terriers score 13 in the second half to win it. Carbondale's 5-1. 20 to 7, your final. A pair of four and one teams squared off in Marion tonight as the Wildcats welcomed Belleville Altoff. 17 6 Marion at the break, third quarter. Wildcats looking for more Dalton Robertson to Zach Irwin, and Irwin is doing some work down the sidelines. Marion in business. A little bit later in the drive, it's Aaron McFadden going to take it around end. But McFadden loses the football, rolls into the end zone. Carson Sonnenberg recovers all tall football. Crusaders spent practically the entire fourth quarter in Marion territory. The Wildcats defense outstanding. They got a goal line stand and then check out this interception from Jay Riley and the Wildcat faithful enjoying it. And finally, the offense would put it away. Robertson to Irwin. Oh, I think there may be some Altoff undergarments left on the field with that one. Irwin, 74 yards down the sidelines. Marion would not be able to punch it in, but they ate up enough clock to take care of business. Wildcats win it. They are 5-1 also. 17-6, your final. Also in the South 7, Cahokia Blanks and Trillia, 42-0. Our Sports Extra Spotlight was shining brightly on Benton tonight as the Rangers met Massac County Patriots coming in 4-1, 2-0 in the River to River, Ohio. A game up on four teams, including the Rangers. Jarrell Johnson had both of Massac's first half touchdowns. Patriots led 14-0 at the break. Rangers would rally in the second. Miguel Martinez with some nice running here, splitting defenders down to the 30. Quincy Hamilton then would score on the keeper. That made it 14-7. Massac would try to kick a field goal to pad the lead, but the Rangers come up with the big block. It was called back due to an inadvertent whistle, though, on the return. So late in the fourth quarter, it's Martinez popping out from behind his lineman and taking it 30 yards for the score. We were tied at 14 and headed for overtime. Massac got the ball first, and they turn to Mr. Johnson. Very first play, he takes it 10 yards for the score. Extra point good, 21-14 Patriots. Benton with a chance to tie, though. That's the way overtime works. Benton with a possession. But Hamilton looking over the middle. Quincy Hamilton, or actually Caleb Krim with the interception. Massac is now 5-1, 21-14, the final. Two more 1-1 one -on -one Ohio teams squared off in Heron as the Tigers welcomed Murfreesboro. Homecoming weekend, even the future Tigers having some fun in this one. First quarter, Heron came out red hot. Goal line, big back Tyler Gooden shoves it in for six. Tigers up 7-0. Last drive of the first, Murphy down 19-0. Evan Brooks connects with Orlando Jarrett for the big gain, but Bryce Miller goes down hard ending the quarter. Second quarter, Brandon Jackson pushed in for a two-yard score. Tigers would go up 27-0. Then later in the second, Tyler Gooden would take it in. All Tigers, they led 46-0 of the half, and that was your final 46-0. The other Ohio matchup found West Frankfurt playing host to Harrisburg. We pick it up in the second quarter. Frankfurt facing the tough Bulldogs defense. Forces the punt and then check out John Rollins. He's going to get the run back and put the Bulldogs in good field position. And then Rollins would take care of business offensively on the sweep. He's going to come right close to your couch for the 20 yard touchdown. Harrisburg up 28 nothing. Frankfurt trying to get something going through the air, but again, the Harrisburg defense was ready for this, and they snuff it out for a three-yard loss. Then it's Frankfurt to the air again. 
pick up minimal yardage, but not nearly enough. The Bulldogs had a big, big night, both offensively and defensively. Here they come up with the interception, and the Bulldogs would go on to win it. Your final, 48 to eight. All right, next stop, the River to River Mississippi. Homecoming night in Decoy, the Indians welcoming Perry County rival Pinckneyville to Van Meter Field. 21-6 lead before the half. Indians add on to a David Rose, the 12-yard TD run. 28-6, Tribe at the break. Third quarter, Indians pour it on with the ground game. This time it's Aaron Smith with the first down scamper. And that would set up this. The play action fake from Matt Gossett, and he finds a wide open Seth Baxter. Baxter gets a couple blocks and takes it up the sideline for the 25-yard score. Indians going to win. 41 to 6. Also in the Mississippi, Nashville scored late to beat AJ. 36-29. Chester blank Sparta. 7 to nothing. On to the Black Diamond now. 4-1 Fairfield paying a visit to 3-2. Johnston City. Great start for the Indians. Jacob Reed with the block punt and he pounces on it in the end zone for the touchdown. 7-0 Indians. Just a brutal start for the Mules. They had three turnovers and that blocked punt in the first half. Cameron Williams coughs it up here, and the Indians were back in business. Now to the second quarter, Aston McIntosh is going to take it in from the two, and Johnston City had a 14-0 lead. But late in the half, Fairfield with a statement drive, a lot of Matt Brown first, the gainer up the middle to inside the 20. Then Brown is going to finish it off with the one yard score. 14 6 Johnson City at the half. All Fairfield in the second. They win it 28 21. The Hamilton County Foxes went after their fourth straight win tonight at El Verado Trico. And although it was homecoming for the Falcons, well, it was ugly early. First possession, Randy Getz can't handle the pitch. The Foxes are there to recover and they would capitalize right away. Very next play, Stephen Lemons takes it up the gut, untouched for the 47-yard touchdown. 6-0 Hamco early on. Just a few minutes later, more from the Foxes. Josh Hall with the touchdown. That made it 12-0, but they were not done. Towards the end of the first quarter, it's Lemons. He will take it in again, 18-zip at that point. Hamilton County rolls. 44 to nothing. Our final prep visual stop is Christopher, where CZR welcomed Viana Goreville. Football assistant coach Buddy Velasco honored for his 50 years of service as a coach before the game. Two minutes left in the first, second and six for their catch. Chucky Brooks up the gut for six yards, seven nothing CZR. But second quarter, the Eagles would answer third and five. Colton Crelo getting some nice blocking. The two point conversion was no good, so it was 7-6 CZR. Bearcats up 13-6. Steven Dial to Peyton Clark. The 25-yard strike made it 19-6. But the Bearcats weren't done. Last 1.2 seconds in the half. Dial to Jake Walchak. This time it's 25-6 CZR at the break and the Bearcats win it 39-28. Now people were seeing pink at the CZR game tonight. It was Pink out as they cheered for a cure. There was a silent auction, t-shirt sales, and face painting with more than $2,000 being raised for the American Cancer Society for breast cancer research. This is a cause that affects everyone in every town, and it affects a lot of people, families, friends, and it's just a growing, um, it's a growing epidemic, and I think everyone is coming together as a community. Other scores from the Diamond tonight, Cesar Valera, Waltonville, Woodlawn. The Red Devils clinched the playoff spot. They're 6-0 after beating Carmel White County by 14. Carterville all over El Dorado, 51-8. Mount Carmel lost to Jasper, Indiana.